My friend Flip Nert from Illinois sent me this book, which is essentially an excerpt from Le Menagerie de Paris, The Goodman of Paris. And in it, there's a recipe for making candied orange peel, which is something that I've wanted to do as we have uh, lemon, lime, orange, and grapefruit trees in my backyard. I wanted to try doing some things with them. And so I'm going to go ahead and make both candied orange peels as well as lemon and lime orange peels. To make candied orange peel, divide the skin of an orange into five pieces with a knife. Scrape out the pith that is inside. Soak the pieces for nine days in good sweet water, changing the water every day. Then boil them quickly, letting the water bubble up just once. Spread them out on a cloth and leave them to become thoroughly dry. Put them in a pot, cover them completely with honey, boil them over a low fire and skim. When you think the honey is cooked, test it by dropping a little bit into a dish of water. If it spreads, it is not cooked, but if it holds together, it is cooked. Then take out the orange peels one after the other, make a layer, and sprinkle powdered ginger on them. Then make another layer and do the same until they are all used up. Leave for a month or more before eating. The orange peels are placed into filtered water and then allowed to soak with the water changed every day. So here are my orange peels plus lime peels and lemon peels that have been soaking for nine days in water. I actually used RO water, reverse osmosis filtered water, to soak them in and then change the water every day. And now I'm going to quickly boil them and then lay them out to dry. One of the things I noticed while soaking over the nine days was that the color of the water was very much orange or yellow, depending on which peel it was, for the first two or three days, and then the color wasn't as intense for the following days. The odor of the either orange, lemon, or lime flavor was also very strong initially, and it still has some of that smell present uh, as well. And the pith got soft, and a lot of the pith floated off and was floating on the top so that when I changed the water each day, that came off. One of the reasons for the soaking may have been to soften the pith and also to draw out any of the bitterness from the pith that might remain. Then boil them quickly, letting the water bubble up just once. I imagine that means that as soon as the bubbles start coming up to the surface, they should be done. And I can see the bubbles on the bottom forming and they're starting to come to the top. So I think that's done. Spread them out on a cloth and leave them to become thoroughly dry. making these again, I might cut the slices into smaller pieces, but we'll go ahead and use this size for now. Here are the lemon peels.
And here are the key line peels. One of the uh, objects of boiling might have been to sterilize the peels since they've been soaking in water for nine days even though the water was changed every day which of course will help keep a bunch of bacteria from growing in it by changing the water the boiling would kill off any microorganisms that were growing in that water so somewhat sterilizing these peels and then of course the sugaring process will also uh, inhibit bacteria and mold growth, thus preserving them. The honey I'm going to use is pure natural Arizona honey from Bridal Path Bee Yard. The beekeeper is a friend of mine, Jock Rawls, who is also a veterinarian. For the ginger, I'm going to use purchased organic ground ginger rather than grinding my own because I want the finer powder rather than uh, if I use a ginger grinder I get bigger pieces. The fresher one will probably have more flavor but I think this will make a more even coating on the pieces that will stick with the honey. So I'm going to go ahead and use this ground ginger. The book said, and leave them to become thoroughly dry. I wasn't sure if that meant to be like dry crispy or dry just because there's no more moisture on them. I didn't want them to be hard. I don't think that would be as good in order to soak up the honey. So I just let them sit until they were dry to the touch but were still soft. Put them in a pot, cover them completely with honey, boil them over a low fire, and skim. Here are the orange peels after cooking for about 15 minutes in the honey. They're starting to get a little darker color and the honey is getting to be more liquid. It's not boiling, it's just hot. The honey is getting thicker, so I'm going to do a test now with the water. Well, look at that. It stayed together. So I think at this point, we'll call it done. I'm going to turn off the heat and we'll just let it cool for a while. And then the next step is to spread them out and sprinkle them with ginger. Then take out the orange peels one after the other, make a layer and sprinkle powdered ginger on them. So here are the honeyed orange peels covered with ginger and in the pan I now have some leftover honey that has been flavored with the orange so this would be great to add to tea. <laughs> 